As the nation's first hospital-based proton treatment center, Loma Linda University Medical Center has led the way in treatment, research, and delivery of proton therapy. We spoke to Dr. Lilia Laredo at Loma Linda University Children's Hospital, who explains this technology. Proton is a type of radiation that is not your typical electromagnetic wave. It's, it's charged particles. It's more controlled radiation. Uh, conventional radiation, X, high energy x-rays go through you. They go through whatever, wherever they enter, they exit the, uh, the opposite direction. Protons have a defined range, so they stop. You can, you can manipulate and, uh, and have them stop where you want them to stop and deliver all the radiation at that point. So they have a reduced entrance dose, and then the brunt of the radiation, which is the Bragg peak, is given at the target. So the advantage is that you can concentrate the radiation in a tumor, and then there is less radiation to the surrounding tissues. So we would like to give as high dose as possible to the tumor, but the normal tissue is our limiting factor. We can damage the patient too. So with protons, you can do that. You know, give a higher dose with less side effects. Or sometimes you can give the same dose with less side effects than with conventional radiation. La Melinda is the first um, medical center that had a proton-based accelerator. Dr. Laredo gives us a patient story. Well, I remember the case of a little girl that um, she had, her diagnosis was before she was two. So she's been on chemo for uh, more than a year, and so she's barely reaching three. And um, when you get chemo, your, your immune system's quite down, and she needed to have uh, craniospinal radiation, the whole brain and the whole spine. We decided on kids this age with this kind of characteristics that they've been through so much chemo that we would just treat the canal, and you get the maximum benefit from protons. So you come from the back, and the radiation just stops at the end of the canal, and it doesn't treat the vertebral bodies that are the ones that are producing the blood. Um, and we did that on this little girl, and we d we've done several of those kids in that condition. And it was amazing. She tolerated the treatment with, with no need for further transfusions. Her blood counts stabilized, and they were going up. She didn't get any nausea, vomiting, uh, diarrhea. She didn't get any sore throat because it wasn't coming out through her throat. So she's getting less radiation to her thyroid also. So she's going to have in the future less chances of having hypothyroidism. And this is now like five, seven years. And so she's doing well. And her spine is not scoliotic, you know, it's not crooked. So we're happy about that. She's actually growing normally and her tumors control. And the beauty about this proton, um, the protons that are used in the United States, is it's that they're equivalent, they're bioequivalent to, to cobalt, which is kind of like the standard for radiation oncology or for radiation treatments. So you can learn from the past and what doses and treatments that you use and you apply it with protons. It's just that you're going to have a better result as far as normal tissue sparing. The difference between proton radiation therapy and conventional radiation therapy will be wider. So it would be even better, I think.